fun. <laughs> My control is ready, dude. Look at him. Puck now. It's bad. Bad early on. Uh, yeah. They all right. Oh, the MC. No real punishment to be had. Uh, Jarek's really smart. Look what he's doing right now. They unblocked their pull, which they need in the try versus try scenario. Jarek's goes in, body blocks it again at the tomb to mark. Hey, no tell. Amatuma manning up against one another. Who's going to win this exchange? The, bo the bots are helping out, but it's not enough. Regen even got himself a bottle. Um, and then we had the mid matchup where the Tinker's actually doing all right, but obviously died earlier, giving up first. So this laning phase is relatively even. I do think it needs to go well for OG, though. Particularly shutting down Miracle, but it's just not happening. We've seen this a lot of times. Aggro Duel and Aggro Trailing into Terrorblade. He's just so hard to put harassment damage on and threaten because of his super high armor start. He has the highest armor at the start of the game. Hero. That point in reflection, helping out each time a static in physical attempt on Batuma Man. Hitting very low in the mid lane though. And with their wraparound for Jerax, they are going to look to try and dive in. Matuma Man though, kiting him up through the trees. He's able to turn and take him down. The help of Kuro seeping in. Uh, GH nice there as well, no tail. He'll get punished as well. Matuma Man surviving, salving back up to full health. He's level six well before no tail has his level five even. That is going to kill the lane for no tail. I think. He's actually just got to go jungle at a certain point, and maybe someone else takes over the mid lane, maybe the Disruptor. In fact, if he doesn't get out now, he may die to Mind Control's rap. Oh, he is Mind Control. TPing in, lays down the Sprout. TPs will be coming through to try and help out OG. They put the Viper Strike down onto no Tail, but Superman just mans up, looks for the kill, is not phased at all by a level. The kill on Mind Control, retreating on minimal health there. That's, I mean, he, if he's not still smiling and clapping, I'll be surprised. <laughs> And you, you've heard it, Owen, right? Like, how many times have you heard somebody say a Night Stalker has to have a good first night? This is thing more than just a, a sleepless night, really, for a Night Stalker. As he's not having that good start at all. No, certainly not in level two. It's six minutes in, and they managed to kill the Razor at bottom lane. Looks like they're even going for the kill on Fly. Beautiful body blocking here from my control. The Stomp as well, buying time to surround him with those Treants. A sick kill for Liquid. They are... He sees Mind Control. Mind Control being super aggressive is going to be forced away by Jarek's team. Jax tries to go for the chase now. Get a few punches in. He was trying to get a position for the body block. S4 is there as well. Fly also. They're sending him mass numbers mid. Fly seeing if he gets some sort of control onto Matuma. But Matuma Man just goes in with the Viper Strike. The Astral Echo Stomp's there as well from GA. Setting up for a seventh kill for Liquid. It just doesn't stop. It's in. Momentarily hold off with the Viper Strike. TP does come through, but OG more than wise to do so. Bottom lane, bit of an attempt on to Kuroki, but Kuroki holds back one with the Nightmare. Miracle moves in at the massive Nature's Wrath Bounce there. Perfectly done by Mind Control Elite Shambles. They have to get a pick with this. And look at Kuro, he's just sitting behind Matumba Man, knowing that it's probably target number one. Or we'll get the split off, they put the field down, they're looking towards Matuma Man, glimpse back onto Kuroki, Matuma Man's still alive for now, pops the one charges, trying to get out of there, there's the Sunder as well from Miracle, buying time for Matuma Man to get out, and OG, they just can't get the kill here, flies the one to full, the Sleep Stomp comes out onto three, OG lose two, Miracle there with the pro play, coming in with the save, allowing them to man up and move in for more, they're gonna get three, they're gonna get four, no tail's gonna fall as well, it's 12 to zero, Liquid just starts playing the battle, it's 11 minutes in, it's 12 to 0, 6k lead, and Liquid, they're pushing for more. The play the panel talked about was that series where Mind Control played the support Vengeful Spirit, and they talked about how selfless that is. And it went into the philosophy of Liquid and how they play for each other. Miracles play there with the yeah. Sunder, that's playing for the rest of your team. The fact he's willing to sit behind his teammates there and use Sunder, like, hey, you normally you would see Terrorblades just off farming some side lanes, but... What? Timber. Getting gone on by Jarex, but he turns with the Viper Strike. Jarex is just dead. The Glimpse back. They do at the Static Storm. He'll try for the TP out, but with the clap, there we go. OG getting themselves the first kill on the board. They look towards Kuro. Can they get themselves a second? They can't. Kuro is able to teach away from a bit of farm himself on that side. Titan. Kuro setting up for the TP rotations. Let's see what it can do here. Uh, resolution straight away though. Pops the Artist. They got the Static Storm as well. So Kuro will lose his life. We'll see if the rest of Liquid can clean up. The TP straight up being attempted by the Razor will be successful. Fly as well will escape. Good disengage from OG. 
everything. He can, and once he gets the blink, he can play the split push game a lot more aggressive. Do him and Tuma Man. Walked into the smoke. OG, they have the jump with the primal split, focusing the Viper. But Tuma Man's all on his own. The rest of Liquid will leave him be. Relatively tanky, but they've got the chase down. But Tuma Man will fall. OG with the smoke getting one big kill. Even more, they've got their eyes onto Kuroki. They have the vision for the glimpse back into the kinetic field. OG striking back here and will take two. They bait out the Tinker really well, but also my favorite thing of that fight is oh, oh, that is for. Do not have the Fiend's grip. But they do have the Mitra Page. <laughs> oh no, you have to right click him! Oh no, Kuro didn't right click through the Nightmare! And now Kuro, he may pay for this. He's sort of surrounded, they've got the March of the Machines down. Kuro is going to fall. As you said, one right click from Kuro there would have sufficed. And now it may just get worse. They might be able to grab more heroes here. They've got the vision onto Miracle. Miracle getting Glimpse back into the field. Kuro's going to buy back, but the Static Storm's down. They'll lose the Aegis on Miracle. Primal splits out. OG looking to take more out of this one fly. We'll get surrounded by the Treants. They'll lose fly, OG. But no tell keeping these March Machine Machines built up. There will be the attempt from the Meteor Hammer from Mind Control. He'll go for the Sail Sprout and the TP out, but they have the Void to cancel that TP. Mind Control will fall. Oh, nice force. And they get more out of this one. The primal split will end. S4 getting turned towards by Matsuma Man. The haze is out. Matsuma Man can't get the hits in. The blink out will be there. No tail. Does get surrounded though. He'll get one more march out, but will be taken down. GH still with his eyes onto Jarex. Jarex with his eyes back towards GH. Looking for the chase round. Jarex is scared. He knows that there's more coming in from Liquid. Kuro finds the nightmare. GH will be allowed to close the gap with the stomp. They have got Matsuma Man here as well to make sure that they've got just the right amount of damage to finish off Jarex. As Jarex will fall amongst the tree line. And a little scrappy for them, just because they didn't get that quick kill at the start. Yeah, a couple of questionable uh, positionings there from Big Daddy No Tail. The first time he comes in, he actually puts himself in the trees and has to run back to TP way. And then obviously TP's back in gets caught. As a result, they may just end up losing a lane of racks now. Yeah, see, despite that little bit of a blunder from Kuro, it really doesn't matter here as this top Racks are in trouble, the tier 3 gets taken down. Liquid with the pipe complete, continue to push on, focusing. The barracks, can OG hold this back? They've lost their score, he's down for 40 seconds. Does have buyback, but he doesn't have the primal split. So Liquid, they'll be allowed to take that tier 3, take the melee racks. The range racks falling low as well, but Liquid, now back off, there's a glimpse onto Miracle, but oh, the Manta style dodge. Dodging that glimpse, the stomp sound onto Sue Liquid. They're ready to go back in onto OG. They'll find fly. Jarex held down on the side by the Fiend script from Kuro. There's three falling on OG. The Rex are gone. The 10k lead continues to grow. 19 to 6, 22 minutes in. Liquid. Only no tail he can pick up CS and maybe resolution when it comes to any CS that's right outside of the base. Here we go, another outer tower taken by Liquid. No chance for OG to put a stop to it. The Earth Splitter getting thrown into the base. We'll flip onto a couple of them. Now the a Man as well. Look at it going, they've got the Fiend's Grip onto Jarex. Jarex is just dead, a miracle on the back lines. He's popping the, uh, the Metamorphosis and he's just shoving into OG. Resolution does get the link off, but Miracle just walks in and kills off the Tinker. The Sunder keeping Miracle alive. Has had a lot of his right click soaked up. But that's two dead on OG. No Tail has to buy back for this defense. As now, this second lane of tier threes and racks in trouble. Matsuma Man does get glimpsed back, pops the BKB. S4 jumps in with the primal split, manages to get it off. But the pipe's already out for Liquid. They just turn. They're beating down into these Brulings, ripping S4 apart. As OG, it just seems like they don't quite have the damage to fight into this. That's two Brulings nearly down. They've got the Sprout, Resolution's stuck, he does force out of it, Fly gets sent to sleep, he manages to get the Static Storm down onto 3, S4 comes back in with a clap, but outside of it all, Miracle's just forcing them back, punching into them, OG just can't finish off these kills, the Meteor Hammer gets thrown down onto S4, S4's gone for 50 seconds, Liquid have taken the Tier 3, they'll look to move onto the Barracks. They'll back off a little bit from the March spam. Bit of a mango break. I think a couple of those were swallowed. Getting everyone back up to full mana, meaning that they could go straight back in. The mangoes are in them. Liquid's ready to go back in with the push. Rezo tries for the static link. Gets broken straight away as the Nightmare holds him back. Viper strike down onto Rezo. He's able to force back. 
But this is just forcing himself away from the bigger issue, the fact they're losing the racks. No tail gets caught on the sideline. That's the tinker down for 68 seconds. BKB's popped from Miracle as he just heads in, forces OG all the way back to base. Jerex will be able to flap himself into the fountain, but a second set of racks are gone. Liquid move towards the middle. They can go for the racks. They can go for the tier four. They can go for the game because at 28 minutes, a 20k gold lead, and on the verge of having mega creeps, this game looks irrecoverable for OG. Absolutely. 40 seconds, and he was just about to pick up an ad and give him 72. And here we go again. I mean, it's a nice static storm onto a couple of heroes, but where is the follow-up? They've lost resolution. He's gone for 50. He does not have buyback. Nobody on Liquid is dying. They just take notes. They just stand their ground. There's the GG. Good luck called by Fly. This game is over. This series absolutely over. No question about it. Game one looked pretty one-sided. Game two looked like OG never had a hope at all in this game. And it's a similar storyline for both, which is we had 